In this video, I will show you an interesting theory about the Sonic 2 soundtrack. I feel like a lot of what I will talk about is still unknown to many people, so making this video may help you understand more about Sonic 2's development. Anyway, it all begins with the Sonic 2 beta. If you play the prototype, you probably noticed that some of the music is different from the final build, like Casino Night 2 players playing at Oyoshan Zone, for example. This prototype also has many mysterious empty levels that play random music, like Emerald Hill 2 players. In 2017, Sonic 2 game planner Hirokazu Yasuhara revealed all sorts of things about the original Sonic 2 project, including the time travel future and never before seen concept arts like the island maps. After seeing them, well, it looks like the random zones were actually not random. Let's take a look at the levels on the island maps. Here you can see a concept for the present time. We can see Green Hill, Ocean Wind, Wood Zone, Sand Shower, and Metropolis, which seems to have something called a warp point. This concept is for the past time, with Tropical Plant, Hilltop, Blue Lake, Olympus, and Rock World. Then we have the Rained map, with Dust Hill, Oil Ocean, and another Rock World. Lastly, we have the Future map, with Casino Night, Chemical Plant, and Genocide City 1 and 2. Let's try to set an order in these maps. Let's start with the present map. First we have Green Hill. Let's set it to 0. Next we have Ocean Wind as 1, Wood Zone as 2, Sand Shower as 3, and finally Metropolis as 4. Now let's check what these levels are in Sonic 2 Beta. You can access any of these levels in Sonic 2 Beta using this code. You just have to replace X by any number you want. Let's start by Green Hill. As you can see, Zero is just Emerald Hill, which is called Green Hill in Sonic 2 Beta, so that makes sense. Now let's see one. It's an inked level with Emerald Hill music, nothing here but glitched graphics. Now let's see what's on level 2. Just like the map, it's Wood Zone. Now let's check 3. It's an empty level 2 playing the Oil Ocean song. And the last one, 4. Again, it matches with the map, which has Metropolis for this one. Let's do it with the patch map now. So we have the warp point, let's number it as 5. Tropical Plant a 6, Hilltop a 7, um, I don't think Olympus was a conventional level, because all the other names are in a rectangle, while Olympus is in an oval, so let's keep it. Blue Lake, 8, and Rock World, 9. And let's keep checking the Sonic 2 beta levels. 5 is Metropolis again, this level is used for the third act of it. Let's see 6 now. 6 is another empty zone, but in this case playing the song in without a huge players. Now let's see 7. Hill top zone, just like the map. Let's see 8. It's the zone we know as Hidden Palace. And finally, let's check 9. It's another empty zone, this time playing the song Sky Chase. Now, let's take a look at this enemy right here. This is an enemy that hides on the sand and then come out to attack the player. It was made by Sonic 2 Art Stompain and can be found on the Sonic 2 Art Discs. Here's its concept art with some text that reads Bumper, location of appearance, 
Desert Zone, Prison, Step on Edge and its Sand Sonic flying far away. Old Bumper Location of Appearance, Rock Zone, Past, Property, Same as Above, Color Change. The text indicates that the Rock Zone is the Past version of the Desert Zone. It seems to fit perfectly with the order of the zones of Sonic 2 Beta. And I will show you why. In 2001, Sonic 2 Zone artist Brenda Ross revealed that the Desert Zone was designed to have an ice variation, where the sand would turn into snow and cactus into Christmas trees. Unfortunately, an image of the ice level was never found, but a possible concept art can be seen on a documentary. In 1994, MTV produced a documentary about Sonic and Knuckles, showing many people who worked on the game. A thought that is about Sonic and Knuckles, during the documentary they have show a room with many concept arts, and surprisingly, many of these concept arts actually come from Sonic 2. Let's compare them. Now, there's this ice level concept art. It seems to have Christmas trees as described in the interview and could much well be the original concept art for the ice level. Now, look at this object's ideas document. This shows some ideas that were meant for the desert zone, but pay attention at the top of the document. It called it Desert World, which again seems to be a reference to Rock World. And finally, see this enemy location document. As you can see, it connects Green Hill with Hilltop, as well Desert with Ice. Like Hilltop as the patch of Green Hill, Ice seems to be the patch of Desert. In other words, St. Shower was a Desert and Rock World was the Ice Zone. That explains the concept of the bumper. It seems like it would come out from sand in Desert Zone, while in Rock Zone it would come out from the snow. That's why the ground is grainy on both pictures. And now comes the interesting part. If this theory is correct, it means that the oil ocean song was made for the sand shower. That's why it sounds like a typical desert song. While Sky Chase music was made for a rock world. I use the VGM plugin that allows me to isolate channels. Listen carefully to these two channels. This is a four note sequence, typical of Christmas songs. You can hear it in other games too. A great example is Ryster the Shotting Star. Ryster's Ice Zone also starts with the same kind of sequence. And let's not forget about the tropical plant. Again, the music seems to match the concept art of the zone. Let's see the rest of the maps now. Oh, we have a problem. In the Rainet Prison, we have Dutch Hill, Oil Ocean, and a Rainet Rock World. But it looks like we have a missing zone in the Sonic 2 beta. After 9, we have A, which is Oil Ocean. And after 8, we have B, which is Mystic Cave, called Dutch Hill in Sonic 2 beta.
But after B, we have C, which is Casino Night. Casino Night is a zone from the future, so we have three zones on the map, but only two zones in Sonic 2 Beta. Also, we don't know anything about the rock world of the Rennet Time. You might think, oh, so Doshi was Mishike's beta name. And in fact, it might be. But I have a different theory of what might have happened. When asked about Sand Shower, Sonic 2 chef artist Yasushi Yamaguchi treated Doshi and Sand Shower as being the same zone. Not just him, Brenda Ross and Hirokazu Yasuhara also mistake this zone for Dust Hill. They all call it just Dust Hill. Let's think about it more. Three people who work it on the game, artist, chef artist, and planner. Did none of them remember that Dust Hill was a Mystic Cave's beta name? Which is a completely different zone than Saint Shower. We know that Dust Hill and Saint Shower cannot be the same zone. Dust Hill is connected with Green Hill while Sand Shower is connected with Rock World. If you know that Dust Hill is not Sand Shower, and three people who work on Sonic 2 believe that it was a desert zone, what if there were actually two desert zones planned for Sonic 2? In addition to the Oi Ocean song, we have a second song in Sonic 2 that would fit with a desert, now Green Hill. Even how the type called Western Desert like Wiseau sequence, here the channel is elated. You can hear it in other games too, like Sonic Mania. If we check the map, Aquatic Ruins don't appear anywhere, not even its beta name, Neo Green Hill. And aside from Hilltop and Dust Hill, is the only level with a name that suggests a connection to Green Hill. Sonic 3 recycled ideas from Sonic 2, including its concept art, and in two players mode it's possible to see an area called Desert Palace, which is similar to Neo Green Hill. These two zones are the only zones in their entire classic series that have a passage through the lab, which makes me think that maybe Neo Green Hill was actually Sonic 2's secret desert zone at some point in development. But again, this is just a theory, and it could be completely wrong. Let's take a look at the last map. We have Casino Night as C, Chemical Plant as D, Genocide City 1 E, and Genocide City 2 F. Let's check this. <laughs> This is the only compatible level on this map, it's completely random here, which makes me think this zone was added at a point of development where Genocide City 2 has already been cut. Daddy don't appear on this map, maybe it wasn't planned yet? We may never know, but we have a concept art for that egg, and according to Yamaguchi it would have been a much longer zone, which explains why the music is as long as other zones in the game. Oh, what about the rest of the zones? Ocean Wind uses music from Emerald Hill, just like Wood uses music from Metropolis. Maybe Sonic 2 would use the same music for Martin 1 zone? As crazy as this may sound, we can't forget the Wood Zone concept art was recycled into Mushroom Hill for Sonic and Knuckles. And coincidentally or not, the music in this one has a similar snippet to Metropolis. So who knows? We need more clues and evidence to be sure. And that's all. We are very close to solving the mystery surrounding Sonic 2's development. The closest we have ever been. 
Do you know of any details that you didn't mention or want to share what you think? Leave it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.